Record warm temperatures in the valleys and rain falling instead of snow has helped a lot of the rain gauges across much of the state. Some of the grass behind me even turning green and for January, maybe some of us are talking about mowing instead of shoveling snow. I'm Utah's Weather Authority, Nate Larson, and we look up in the mountain areas, it's a different picture. The story changes fast. Uh, snowpack levels are still very low for this time of year, and some experts say that the rain actually falling now with our storms could be setting us up for water problems later this year. Utah measures its water year from October through September, and so far, three months in, much of the state has picked up a healthy amount of precipitation, but much of it has fallen as rain instead of snow. And while that helps on paper, it's not the kind of water the state relies on heading into spring and summer. The last storm cycle was actually really good. We went from 55 to 75 percent over the last week, so it has actually improved quite a bit just from one storm cycle, which shows the sensitivity of our seasonal averages to individual events. That jump is encouraging, but climatologists say how precipitation falls matters just as much as how much. That we are fairly concerned about for uh, looking forward for drought impacts next year, water availability, reservoir levels, because a gallon of rainwater delivered in the middle of winter is not the same as a gallon of water in the snowpack that melts in April and May. Snow acts like a natural reservoir, releasing water slowly as temperatures warm. Rain, on the other hand, runs off quickly or soaks in before it can be stored. Our mid-elevation snowpack, even in those same areas, is poor. And then you get into central Utah and the snowpack is almost non-existent. It's terrible. And recent storms haven't helped much, bringing rain across elevations that would normally be building snowpack. Feels like we are getting precipitation. The rain gauges are great. Our grass is green. We're not shoveling. We're looking at mowing instead. But from a, a water resource point of view, our spring and summer is looking quite pinched. Uh, based on where we currently stand. There is still time for improvement, of course. Utah has had worse years than this one at this point, but the longer rain replaces snow, the harder it becomes to recover. I'm meteorologist Nate Larson, Fox 13 News, Utah.